Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Good morning, YouTube family. This is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living. <laughs> and uh, how are you guys doing today? So, I want to take the time right now to uh, express a special thanks to uh, Farm Farmstead Smith or Adrian, you guys know Adrian. Uh, they have a great channel. They're also from this region. <laughs> you guys be careful. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, they play hard. So anyway, uh, we had the opportunity to have dinner with them last night. <clears throat> and uh, it was wonderful. Uh, it's always nice to uh, find people um, just to uh, be friends with and share ideas and and uh, they were very, very uh, nice folks. I got to meet her husband. And uh, of course, it was a great ch chance to ask her about her bees and her donkeys and, and her animals and kind of their story. And her husband is a, um, uh, was in the army and uh, has some really interesting stories about that. Very, very skilled per people. So uh, special thank you to uh, uh, Farmstead Smith um, and they bought her dinner which was not necessary but they were so nice and uh, <clears throat> so we're hoping to have dinner with them again uh, in the near future and, and share ideas and, and actually I'd like to um, do a podcast with her so it'll be kind of fun <clears throat> but today uh, I haven't been up very long so I'm kind of like ugh. I wanted to show you something I built no big deal but if you look in there you see the door I haven't let the chickens out yet uh, it might be a little hard to see but right here is a little string and I can hear my my little chickens in there going open the door anyway so watch my door where I pull the string look at that hey release the krakens and then I got a little hook down here and here they come So yeah, that little door has worked out really well. Yeah, they were hungry. So uh, once again, thank you to Farmstead Smith. I'll put a link to their uh, Facebook page and their YouTube channel uh, in the description. Please take the time to go visit their channel. Good people. Uh, and uh, if you, uh, the really cool part is she's really into bees. So we got a little history of what it takes to be to be a beekeeper. That's a lot of bees. And uh, that was fascinating. So, uh, anyway, uh, do go check them out. Well, a couple hours have gone by, and uh, it appears that my wife has decided that we're going to try to keep putting more of a dent into this pile. So, it's still got a good pile here. And uh, it's actually a really nice day. It's not windy. Sun's out. Definitely chilly. And uh, I guess we gotta get our hands dirty again. We've been burning here for a couple hours, and our pile has got a lot of grass and leaves in it. What does that scream out to you to say? Compost, compost. So, what we're kind of doing now is just kind of getting like the bigger branches and stuff out of this, and then we might bring the tractor up and turn it up see if we don't have any bigger branches buried below and just let this rot over the winter and uh, add it to our garden so uh, yeah but if, if you guys remember how big this pile was before uh, we're glad to see it get down but uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny we're looking we have uh, old piles of, of wood <laughs> We just found a sock. Uh, another pile of wood over there. And then there's another pile of wood over here that must have been there for years. It's no good for building with. It's just so far gone that maybe in the winter if we want to build another outdoor fire, we'll start burning some of that stuff up. But uh, for now, that giant pile is 
getting under control and now it's looking like a giant compost pile don't you think anyway we'll see sherry and i decided to uh, bring in the tractor bring the pile up to a mountain start watering it let it start breaking down we're still kind of looking for loose branches and stuff we'll throw into the fire over here but this little guy did his job really cle good. cleaned it up <laughs> give us a chance to see if we had any branches down at the bottom and uh it's looking pretty good so uh, there we go it looks like we got another compost pile well i'm not too sure but i think it's time for siesta for the dogs we got one snoozing on the pile and another one snoozing in the shade i think they're spent it's amazing how exhausted they get watching us work hey we're back it's the next day and uh i don't know if i've ever sh kind of showed you guys what i have to do sorry about it. it's kind of dark in the garage here my dog gets in more trouble you okay okay Alrighty, <laughs> she's okay. Uh, you gonna live? Did I spook you? What happened? Okay, she just got her feelings hurt. So I was gonna show you. It's hard to stay focused around here. There's uh, the pond. So I told you I had two koi. And uh, by the way, I recommend when you get koi, get the little ones because they're cheaper little koi costs like 11 bucks and bigger koi can be like 30 40 50 bucks and uh, they grow really fast now uh, you won't be able to see my koi but this is a uh, fish food I use for them they like this stuff um, I usually give them a pretty good pinch here let me come down here and I give them a really good pinch and just throw it on in there and uh you're kind of shy but not this time of year they're always hungry anyway uh i do that usually every other day i uh i have two di different kinds of food for them and uh all i can tell you is i know they're not starving because they are now like seven inches long so uh it was definitely worth getting the smaller koi so anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this video up, try not to hurt my dog anymore. And uh, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos. And uh, by the way, in the comments below, say hello, we'd love to meet you. So have a great day everybody, bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.